Ahoy, meat popsicles. Welcome back to Fast and Light Advanced Edition. Let's get started. So, um, that uh, Stealth Cruiser B run did not go according to plan at all, and uh, what further went not according to plan was I lost the footage for the second part. Died pretty quickly in the second part, though, so you didn't miss much. Uh, some files got lost in the shuffle while I was doing those Isaac Fraps tests, and I apologize for losing that footage, but honestly, I really... I played horribly and uh, you don't miss much don't worry about it but to make up for that we're gonna play the stealth cruiser b again and we're gonna be in it to win it that's it got a gallon jug of water here i'm gonna be recording until we win with this ship that's it it's time for uh another trek through the nine levels of hell with this ship just like we did with the shivan a couple of weeks back so strap in, I hope it's going to be an interesting ride. And I thank you again for joining me. So let's get started here in Stealth Cruiser B to DA SR-12. Alright, so let's rejigger whatever power needs rejiggering. And get ready to go. They're refusing all hail to prepare for a fight. Okay, so pirates. They have a uh, pike beam and a single laser. So we're going to start in the oxygen and cut across. Actually, you can probably do something like this. There we go. As soon as they fire the laser, we're going to cloak because generally they're not going to fire the beam until after the laser. There we go. Cloak that. That will give our glaive beam enough time to get going. They want to surrender. We will not accept. They're still alive, though. That is not good. Looks like we missed our weapon system completely. Oh, we're off to a fantastic start already. <laughs> And our glaive even got taken out. Wonderful. Okay. Cloak again. Alright, hit us in the doors. That's fine. We can survive that. As soon as this glaive beam fires, they are done. Okay, turn the oxygen back on. Get everything fixed up. Get three fuel, a missile part, and 15 scrap. Okay. Alrighty. Go here now. Oh man. Zoltan Shield, okay. Sorry, screen lights up with warnings. Near nearby part seems to have advanced hacking tools and have tried to shut down your engines. If you're badly managed, just keep them operational and you move into attack. Alrighty. Probably be a good idea to run from this fight. Still managed to hit us in the engines, of course, because this ship has no dodge chance. Uh, max damage. Okay, at least we got their weapon offline. Through the Zoltan shield, although that NG seems to be working furiously to get it back up. I am bombing empty room, thank you for that. Yeah, this next volley will definitely take them out. There we go. 
All right, so that fight went a lot better than the last one. Power ship destroyed. Your ship system restored full functionality. Salvage three fuel, twenty one scrap. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Rebel automated scout floating near the beacon. Uh, I'm going to attempt to download the ship's data stores, and we succeed. Get a missile, a drone, and eight scrap. Okay. A couple of stores. Try and milk this place as best we can. Another sensor station. Um, I'm just going to do it for the scrap, honestly. And one glade beam volley will be enough to take them out. We will cloak out of the ion blast, though. As soon as that fires. The charge ion there. <laughs> they fired a mini beam at the same time. So, um... Smarter than the average of thoughts. Auto scout, <laughs> in a way there. Anyways, we get uh, ten scrap and even more maps. So wonderful. Let's get these sensors fixed up. Okay, very good. Back to stations. Jump once more. Scorpion Rebels Automatic Scouts, the ship's AI wastes no time engaging your ship. Okay, they have a beam drone. That's not good. That is not good at all. Line that shot up like that. And cloak just before it's about to fire. Hopefully we'll get our shot off before this thing can chew us up too badly. I think max powered engine so we can get out of here quickly if we have to. Would be a good idea. Vent out sensors. Vent out a clone bay. Alright. We will take them out. Before they can do any harm to us, we're already at less than 50% hull right now. Okay, let's get these sensors repaired. And get the cloaking repaired as well. Get two missiles, a drone, and 16 scrap. Very good. I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to try not to rush shields so quickly. I mean, obviously shields would be very useful, but that's a lot of scrap to sink in when maybe we can be uh, focusing on upping our dodge chance or our cloaking. So. Okay, you know what? Might as well... Uh... Let's get Jax... Fixed up as well there. Don't need him dying. Taking a lucky hot, lucky shot. Okay, very good. Jump to our store now. Vision of nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. Send down a way party to check it out. They have shields, crew teleporter, hacking, backup DNA bank, Zoltan. Uh, unfortunately, no weapons. Do you want to get some support for the Glaive Beam? That's part of the reason why uh, we lost that run, ultimately. Um, we couldn't get through level 3 shields. We did, just didn't get any weapons. Uh, hacking would be nice, but we won't be able to power it. Um, okay, for consumables, I think we fix up. See the green there, and then we buy... Buy another engine, another power, and work like this. So with everything running at full, we now have a 85% uh, dodge chance. It's a little bit better. Hopefully, keep uh, keep us in the in hull for a little while longer.
Another man ship patrols this area, prepare to ship for combat. Ship powers, does power up the old driver gets away, will no doubt warn the fleet. They're gonna hack us. So... They hack the sensors, which is fine. Cloak now. Don't need that mini beam firing and messing everything up. Come on, glaive beam. Okay, okay, they hit us in the doors, that's fine. They're now completely neutered, though. Might as well get the doors fixed up in the meantime, because we can afford the time now. And glaive beam fires. Ship explodes, and we get a fuel, a drone, and nine scrap, and we are hopefully still ahead, one step ahead of the enemy fleet. Check the distress beacon out now. Great distress beacon is coming from the surface. Nearby moon, you sensors are picking up a single life form. Go down to the surface to investigate. Five Cotty seems to have been recently attacked. Spun devastation, find a lone survivor. Take him home to his family. We get 13 scrap for our virtuous deed. Very nice. Uh, another crew member would have been nice, of course, but I think for right now, scrap is more important. Show a remarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. Okay. I wish of hells, you Federation scum. We waited a long time for this. Okay. So we will slice them up like so. Let's see. That'll do. Uh, Two damage, three, three, and three. So that's nine, it's eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should kill them in one volley here. Max powered engines. It's a juggling act with the ship. You want to cloak the dodge their attacks, but you also want to give your weapons enough time to charge up. Uh, no. Who's the scum now, buddy? Two fuel, two missiles, 19 scraps. Got our oxygen fixed up and move on. I've seen runs on this ship on hard go shieldless to like Sector 5 or so. So... We have to prioritize a few things. Uh, to get max level clothes, it's going to cost us another 70 scrap. We can't afford that. Might be a good idea. Let's head to the exit now and see what that has to offer. Another range beacon at door drive charging jump to the next sector. Repair cheap damage. Okay. Um. Repair five. No refunds. Okay, buddy. Thanks a lot. Command is controlled or pirate controlled. I think we're going to go pirate controlled. There's a little more options. Later on, maybe we can attack some slavers, get some more crew. Somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos. It started rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses the center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Alrighty then. Check out the distress beacon. Follow the stress beacon a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. Um, we'll probably get hull damage for doing this, but I'm going to do it anyways. 12 scrap, 4 damage to our hull. Okay. And we couldn't save anybody. Alright. That's fine. Small project message as sure as a shiny ship he got there. Fire warning shot across the bow and saw it. Hey, no need for violence. It was just a comment. Okay, so a lot of empty beacons here. Let's head towards that nebula. 
Immediately contacted by the settlement. Hello, travelers. She receives the outfit of mer combat. Care, take up mercenary. Okay, some of our friends taking up piracy. We want to convince them not to. I will pay you if you agree not to kill them all. Your money or your life. They must be new at this. Alrighty then. So. I'm going to start in the weapons. Just need them to surrender. So we'll cloak out of their missile barrage. Should be any second now. There we go. And max power to engines. Gives the best possible chance of dodging that. Very good. And the Glavian should have no trouble firing. Let them live and return to the settlement. 23 scrap and a halberd beam. Wow. Okay. So that's interesting. Probably something we're going to sell right away. Uh, that's an ion storm. I don't want to go in there. Probably be worthwhile to... No. It's going to be a waste of jump if we do that. Let's take a gamble. Sure, middle of the storm. Multiple recently capacitor ships, luminous shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Mainly search for extra survivors and equipment. Avoid the risk, wake, jump away unscathed. Um, you can lose a crew member. You can lose a crew member for doing this. Uh, we have no clone bay. And what happens if we lose the Zoltan? We lose the Glaive Beam. We'll have to trade it in for the Halber Beam until we get more power. Um, I, I, we're just going to avoid the risk. We're going to avoid the risk for now. Heavily damaged Federation ships hide in the nebula of this beacon. We have time to make contact with them. They fade into nebula. Long range scanners pump extra power. And we get Ryan. Thrilled to be found by friendlies to come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. Very nice. So we would have probably lost the crew member at the last beacon, but gained Ryan. So I guess it would have shaken out. But this is definitely better. Uh, we'll put Ryan on doors for now. And get things powered up. Continue on our merry journey here. Ship detects a faint distress signal on a nearby moon as you push the rock. Warning lights flash as hostiles beam board the ship from a hidden location. Okay. Good thing we got those doors. Okay. I want to get you indoors as well. Ready? Get you on deck. Um, turn the oxygen back on. Get you out of there. Get you out of there. Okay, nice little dipsy doodle. Looks like everybody's going to survive just barely. Close all the doors, get oxygen pumping throughout the ship. Get everybody healed up in the mid bay. Fortunately, that pretty much is an empty beacon for us. But we got Ryan dressed in time. Four, four enemy crew members and no second level doors. We got him on board just in time. Okay, so let's get you in here. 
get the other humans healed up, and be along our merry. Oh, the bed bay is not powered up anymore because his old town left. Wonderful. Okay, Frederick and Jax all healed up and ready to go. Close the doors, get Ryan on doors and save his position. Let's see what this nebula has to offer. Ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting for you in Dally Station, look for you. Let's um Yeah, let's attack the ship. They don't have much. This is a really easy layout, especially this early in the game. To take out in one volley. So wait for their weapon to fire. Cloak. Should give our Lady Beam enough time to charge up and take him out. They want to surrender, that's a really horrible offer, so we will not accept. We also get our O2 repaired. You get a fuel, a drone, 18 scrap, and a drone recovery arm. Wow. Um, hmm. Maybe it'll be worthwhile to go pick up a defense drone or something. Hull repair drone, something. Okay, power back into the O2. Head on out once more. Recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. Hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. 28 scrap is really good for a rock man. But I think I will attack the slaver scum anyways. Start in the weapons. Go for... Uh, Two, four, six, eight, ten. Maybe it'll surrender. Or we can go for two, five. Let's see, can we reach the weapons from the shields? Just barely. So that'll be two damage, five, eight, and eleven. So it works out the same either way. I really want to prioritize getting those weapons offline. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So we're sacrificing one point of damage, but we get their oxygen hit. So that might uh, cause them to surrender more quickly. Oh, they hit our weapons. That is not good. That is not good at all. These fires vented out. Oh man. Lucky shot. I get these weapons online ASAP. Okay, so we are screwed. We are really screwed now. Just that one lucky shot. Many lucky shots. This could be the end right here. Yep, we just lost the Zoltan. Oh man, and doors are dead. Everybody's gonna suffocate to death. Yeah, there's no way. We're going to lose all our crew right here. <laughs> okay. And there it is. <laughs> that 25% chance, man. What am I talking about? It was 15% chance to hit. 
Maybe I just didn't cloak quickly enough, but I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So I think we'll call that an episode. It's a little short, but we'll call that an episode. We'll get started again next time with this ship. But it is about how it ended the last time, just a little bit further along. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe if you did and want to see more. Comment as you see fit. And until next time, stay frosty.